difference equals pi times diameter. And just like most formulas, we use abbreviations. C for circumference and D for diameter. So that's a pretty simple formula. It tells us that if we know the diameter of a circle, all we have to do is multiply that diameter times the number pi and we'll get the circumference. Now we'll try that formula out in a few minutes, but first let's see the formula for area. The formula for finding the area of a circle is area equals pi times radius squared. Again, we can use abbreviations to make it shorter. A for area and R for radius. Now this is a pretty simple formula too. It tells us that if we know the radius, we just have to square it and then multiply that times pi to get the area. Okay, but what does it mean to square the radius? Well, squaring a number just means multiplying it by itself. For example, 3 squared just means 3 times 3. And 5 squared just means 5 times 5. And r squared just means r times r. So our formula is really just area equals pi times r times r. But we write it in the r squared form because it's more compact. Oh, and one really important thing to keep in mind is that r squared is not the same thing as 2 times r. That's a common mistake that students make when first learning how to find the area of a circle. And if we look carefully at both of our formulas, you'll see why. These two formulas have a lot in common. In each of them, you're multiplying pi by part of a circle to find either the circumference or the area. In the case of the circumference, you're multiplying pi times the diameter. And in the case of the area, you're multiplying pi times the radius squared. But do you remember the relationship between the radius and the diameter? Diameter is just two times the radius. So we could rewrite our formula for circumference like this. Circumference equals pi times two times r. Now, assalamu alaikum class. All of you see the small video clip, okay, that is related to our area and circumference. Now let's talk about area, circumference. Circumference that we know the formula that is c is equal to pi d, d is the diameter, c is the circumference. Now as we know that the diameter is equal to 2 multiplied by r, okay. So what we will do here, so we also know that c is also equal to 2 pi r. So you must memorize these two formula. We also know the area of a circle. What is the area of circle? That is pi r square. So r square doesn't mean that it's a multiple r, r multiplied by 2. But r square, square means that r is multiplied with r. So as it is same thing I just told you that you will see in the video clip. Now here, now you know the main thing and the most important thing that circumference of a circle. Now we know if you have a radius that is 4, so you are using this formula c is equal to 2 pi r because we know d is equal to 2 r. So we never write here d, we just write 2 r. Okay, so next thing is we know 2 pi is 3.14 and mm -hmm. 4 r is 4. So whenever we are multiplied, we will get answer. Now, next part should be so we also find the area of a circle. So area of circle, you know that it's equal to pi r square. So pi and 4 r square. r is 4 and square means 4 square is 16. 16 multiplied by 3 14, that is 15.24 centimeters square. So let's talk about second part. Diameter. Next case, they just give us a diameter that is 3. So as I told you that d is equal to 2r. So here I never write 2r. So here I just write d. So 3 multiplied by pi, that is 9.42. So here is our answer of circumference. And here we don't have r, we have d. So we know that d r is equal to d divided by 2. So d is 3, 3 divided by 2, that is equal to 1.5. So 1.5 square, that is 2.25. So multiply by r, that is 7.1 meter square. As it is same, we're finding here, we have a radius. So with the help of radius, we are finding circumference. Here we have a diameter. So with the help of this, we are using other formula. If we have radius, so we use this formula. If you have diameter, you are using this formula. Now, what we will do here, the area of a circle that we know A is equal to pi r. Here is a formula. So if you have r, that is 3. So if you put here 3, so 3 squared is 9. 9 multiplied by 3.14, that's 
it, uh, the answer should be 28.26. As it is seen, you do the same thing with all the parts of the question. Now, let's talk about question number three. Here, perimeter means it's the same like a circumference. So what is circumference? So a perimeter means at all the sides. So why we are using here perimeter, the word perimeter, because here is a semicircle. So when we are talking about semicircle, we are using the word perimeter. Why not circumference if you have a whole circle? So he's just counting the outer layer. Okay. So the length of the outer layer. So that is called circumference. But perimeter, we have a half circle. And if you are finding circumference, if you divide it by two, so you will get the half circumference. That is the length of outer side. But you also have 16 more. So you are adding 16 more. So it means this answer should be right. So if you are talking about area of circle, but it's a half circle, so what you will do? So you just do the same thing, pi r square, but you just divide by two. So make it half, so you will get your answer. The same thing you will do here with if your diameter is 20. So what you do, first you make it in the radius, okay? First you find the radius of 20, that is 10. Here, here the radius, that is 7.5. We also have a radius, so no need to convert, but here diameter, that is 4.3 radius. So first you find the radius of all those part that does not have any radius. After that, you are just putting the value here. If you are finding the area of a circle, if you find a perimeter, so no need to. So you convert this into the form of diameter. So it's easy for you to solve this.